Hey howdy hey partners, today we're going to talk about a woody hat mod. Let's get into it. Wish for the sky. You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond! Here it is, my movie accurate Woody. It's awesome. He has all the incredible details I ever wanted out of a movie accurate Woody, except for one thing left, which is his hat. Huge shout out to my good friend Nick D on Instagram. He reached out after watching my custom Woody video and he said, hey, I have a Metacom Woody hat for you. Do you want it? And I said, sure, because it doesn't have holes in the back like the Think Way Toys one. He made a deal and traded some movie accurate hands for this. So that was really nice. And he also threw in a really cool Woody action figure. So that was really fun. So what I did on this hat was I cleaned it up, took out the stitching because I'm going to add my own. And here on the bottom, you can see I did the hat felt mod. If you want to know how I do this felt mod, click the card here in the corner of your screen. It'll take you to that video that shows you a tutorial of how I do this. Basically, this is a walnut brown felt that you can buy at the craft store. My local craft store is called Michael's. That's where I bought it. And it's a very thin material, so it's not going to bulk up the space of the hat. Also, the reason why I do the felt is because it protects the painted head of Woody. Whenever you buy custom uh, Woody heads, especially the movie accurate ones, you want to protect the paint from rubbing off or getting you know weather changes. So the felt protects the paint from rubbing off. And if anything, this polishes the head and keeps it dust free. So I now offer on my shop on todayagrup.com an exclusive hat stitching cord. It's made out of genuine leather. I compared it with the movie stills and I got the most accurate cord in size and color. And so I conveniently am selling them on todaygrup.com right now. So if you want one, please buy one. I pre-measured it and you need exactly 28 inches to go around the hat. This should work with your Metacom Woody hat, your collection or signature collection hat, or any hat that you kind of mod yourself that's around the same size of these hats. It'll work. And I think it looks way better. And it's the perfect stitching. It took me years to figure it out. And I'm happy to offer it right now. So if you want to buy that, please go to my shop. It helps support uh, my business here online. So I really appreciate your support. It also will make your woody hat look a lot better. So I want this video to kind of serve as a tutorial. So if you do buy my cord, you're able to learn how I do these things. I usually pick the center hole here of the back of the hat. You pick the center one just because it just looks, it's just an easier place to start, I feel. You want to pull the cord almost till you get to the very end. Okay, but then right before it gets to the end, you want to stop it because this is where you're gonna tie your hat at the very end of this process. You want a little bit of cord left to tie a knot and then a double knot. We're gonna get this cord and go under again, and we're gonna pull. And you see as I pull that cord, we have the look of the stitching going to the right. That's what it's gonna look all the way around the hat, but we're going from here going around from the left all the way back here. And that's how I get the cord to look movie accurate, just like we saw it in the movie. And so again, after you go under and over, we're gonna go back again, under, and then pull. And you can see that effect continues. To It looks like it's looping to the right. And that's how you know you're doing the right thing. And once you get to that second one, you kind of let go of the string, it'll stay in place. Again, we're gonna go under, pull again, just like that. Looks really good, and we're gonna keep continuing that stitching all the way around the hat. And so you can see there exactly how I did it and started it. And I'm gonna do one more here on camera, and I'm gonna go all the way around and show you what I do at the very end to finish this process. And you see that looks great. It's going to the right, it looks like. And you can make it as loose as you want, but I feel like you don't want to make it too loose. But it'll look really good. So I took my time and went all the way around this Metacom Woody hat with the leather cord stitching, looking really good, double checking my work, making sure it all looks good. And then here on the final stitch, I'm going to go under again, and then we're going to pull that way. And then this part is what is kind of interesting. Um, a lot of people get confused or hung up on this part, but the way you finish the hat to make it look seamless is after you do that under over again, you're just going to do this and tie the knot under. 
but you see it still looks good on the top so it kind of looks like it's just keeps going you don't see the knot on the top so to do that you just want to hold it like you saw I did here and we're going to tie the knot now we have a lot of extra cord here so if you do buy my hat stitching you will have a very long cord to work with so you don't have to worry about um, running out of uh, cord for your one hat each order will come enough for one hat so you'll be good to go so there you see I started that first knot try to get the knot higher up here so it doesn't show on the top we'll get the knot here that looks like a good knot so once you tie one knot and you pull that tight it looks good just double check that the position is good you can see here on the top it didn't affect anything it looks really awesome so that means we did a great job here's my super glue I got it ready you don't want to put a lot you just want to put one little drop you can see there coming out it's just one little drop um, if you put a little extra it's fine it's not going to affect it what I'm going to do now is tie one final knot pull that double knot in So now that the super glue is there holding down that knot, you want to get close to that knot, cut off the excess cord here, and then we're going to cut this one off as well. But do not cut the knot, or else you undo your work there. So that looks pretty good. You can always adjust it a little bit, but that knot is not going to go anywhere now that we super glued it down. So there you have it, the Metacom Woody hat with the brand new leather cord stitching. I think it looks pretty awesome. I really like that. It adds a feel of quality to it than what you get originally from these toy companies. I think that this genuine leather cord is obviously best. What I like about the knot in the back is that it's a double knot. It's pretty small. It's really held together well with that super glue dot. So it's not going to go anywhere. It doesn't really add too much extra bulk there. It's very hidden underneath the hat and it's going to look really great on Woody now. And now it's time to get my Medicom Woody hat with the custom felt mod check the paint and the actual genuine leather cord that looks movie accurate looks awesome and it fits Woody really well I was a little worried at first with the seed toys head because it is larger scale but then I realized it's very close to the Thinkway toys collection and signature collection Woody so that didn't really bother me too much and as I got the Medicom Woody hat measurements it actually is the same size as the collection or signature collection Woody hat because the head sizes are the same. So I was very happy to report that this worked and now I have the best uh, Woody hat that you can buy because this Woody hat is very expensive. It comes from a Metacom Woody toy that costs $600 or $550. So this hat is perfect for this custom seed toys Woody. So if you have a extra Metacom Woody hat or you can find one like I did I highly recommend it for the seed toys head because it looks really great on it and it works really well and if for some reason you can't find a Metacom Woody hat like me you can use a collection or signature collection Woody hat those work as well so I'm very happy with this mod I think it looks really great and again if you'd like to buy a movie accurate Woody hat cord I sell them right now at todayrub.com don't miss out please buy them I'll try to keep them in stock as much as I can because I want everyone to have the best movie accurate Woody you can, just like me here at Today I Grew Up. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me in this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You want the real buzz like you? You're a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.